Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the October BAM box, horror box, which it's still blank. I, I keep asking them, like, I thought they were going to change the box design, but they're just staying with blank still. So I don't know. Maybe it never changes. Uh, I don't remember what the properties are for this or the franchises, as you will. The other thing is I'm not saying it properly. I'm calling it the October box, but it's supposed to be like uh volume three box 10 because that's what they moved to instead of doing the months my thought on that is that they did it because it makes it easier for them to say well the box isn't late because it doesn't have to do with a month that's my kind of thought but um i'm not going with that naming convention because it's a lot harder to get people to search that type of stuff and that's a lot harder to talk about it that way because i mean it is monthly so you know, I'm sticking with what it is. Let's go. Uh, the other thing is I'm kind of... Oh, tissue paper. Only one. Okay. It's usually more. Um, not like I care. It's just for my cat, you know. Uh, thinking about getting rid of this box, to be honest. Uh, just for me personally, just to kind of save a little bit of money. Uh, it's not like it's a bad box. There are a few things that have, that have irked me. Mainly the art prints have been kind of not really art prints. It's more like computer... Uh, manipulated photos so I haven't really been digging on that but the pins are still really good and there's still some really good stuff so it, it is a worth it box in my opinion but I'm just kind of playing with the idea of getting rid of it so that said if this video gets a thousand views I will keep going or if I get 100 new subscribers off this video I will keep going with it or <laughs> if three people email me and ask me for my uh, affiliate code for BAMBOX and use it so that I get a free BAMBOX, I will then do keep it going as well, and if that goes on each month. So uh, you can email me at BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. Brutal is B-R-E-W-T-A-L, BrutalBattlePodcast at gmail.com. So anyway, let's get into the box. don't know what this is. This feels... What? I don't like this already. Don't like it. I mean, I mean, I think this is supposed to be like a Petri dish. It's literally just like this. And I guess, okay, so I guess like they have, it's, it's supposed to look like they're growing something in the Petri dish here. I mean, kind of interesting, but these are the types of things I really hate. I always am against the prop replicas because I, I never, not never, but seldom actually like them or would display them. And this one's just kind of, I don't know. I'll have to see what that has to do with because I, I don't really, I don't know. Here's something else. Oh, this is the signed item. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, so it's a pizza box. What would this have to do with? I, you can see the autograph is right here. So I like that they're doing something different. I, I, I think it's fun. I think it's kind of cool that they do that. So this is for... This prop pizza box has been hand-signed by Lisa Wilcox, who played Alice in Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and 5. Okay, cool. So that's her. That's their certificate of authenticity, which is cool. That's a good autograph. Um, welcome to Wonderland, Alice. Okay, so they put like a little promo card in here for the stuff that she wanted to plug, as you can see, which, you know, that's cool. Uh, so it seems like they've really got an in with the Nightmare on Elm Street folks because they've had a lot of autographs from people who've been in Nightmare on Elm Street, which is cool if you're all about Nightmare on Elm Street. But this does also go back to something that I've talked about before having to do with these boxes which is there are certain franchises that they tend to just go on like super, super hard. Like Friday the 13th is a big one they're always on, and Nightmare on Elm Street's another big one that they do a lot of. And there are a few others that pop up multiple times, and ones that they never get to. They've done f one Phantasm thing, and I would like more Phantasm, but, you know, that's just me. But um, it's this thing where I'm like, like I understand it because you you want to you need to sell the boxes and you want to go with what's most popular. So those types of franchises are extremely popular. But at the same time, you should be putting variety in if it's a horror box because otherwise it just becomes the Nightmare on Elm Street Friday the Thirteenth box basically. 
and then maybe you get something different every now and then. So it's kind of, I don't know. All right, let's go for the pin. I usually really like their pins. Oh, nice, nice, nice. This is very well-timed pin. Uh, I really dig it. I was hoping they would do something like this. So awesome. So this is from uh, Three From Hell. It's Hell's Captain. Design is by Brian Romero. And as people can guess, it is... Oh, sorry. Move my light. It is Sid Haig. That's a good... Yeah, that's a pretty good rendering of him with a nice big bushy beard as he's best known, especially in those movies. Yeah, looks good. R.I.P. R.I.P. buddy, Sid Haig. Yeah, that's a good likeness for him. That's a good pin. I like that. That's really cool. Dig it. Good on you guys. And then the last thing, I guess, is the art print, which hopefully it's not one of these pictures that's just been digitally changed, but we'll see. This art print, art print ugh, from our fan art collection titled Trick or Treat has been hand-signed by artist Sutaki for the Bambox Horror Box. Oh, okay. I mean, it looks like, like legit, like a thing. That's kind of cool. Um, I love Trick or Treat. This is one of my favorites. This is one they've done a few times already, but um, not too much in my opinion. This is number 851 out of 2,000. Um, I can't tell if this is... I mean, it looks like legit art. I like it. And one of the main reasons I do like it is because I love this movie. It's one, it's one of my favorite horror movies, period. So that works for me. I like it. So that's cool. I wish there was a little more to it color-wise, but I get it because that's the color of his mask is just like that. All right, so let's take a look at this. The pizza thing, we already know about that. Don't need to show you. Oh, the variant on the art print, which there were only 500 of, is him unmasked. I'm actually very glad that I got the one that was masked because I don't know about you, but for all the people who have seen Trick or Treat, I prefer Sam with his mask on. I think he looks cooler and scarier that way. So I don't know. But I mean, he looks fine without the mask. Uh, okay, the movie prop. You can forget the final scene in The Thing where McCready tests the blood. Mac was convinced it was Gary who was the carrier, but he turned out to be wrong. Which blood test name did you get? Okay, so they had a few different blood test names. Okay, whatever. Um, I mean, kind of an interesting concept. I, I feel like this is more of a thing of like, when you think of the idea of doing this and you're pitching it out there, people are like, oh, that's cool. Like, it sounds like a cool concept. But in actuality, like, when you get something like this in the box, or at least for me personally, it's significantly more underwhelming. So I'm just kind of like, meh. I mean, I see where they, they took care to kind of, like, make the, the texture in there. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's just not something I like. It's just, like, a real cheap item. Um, honestly, I'd just rather have it just left out. Okay, so... Okay, so for the for the pin, they did something that, as you know, if you've been watching my unboxings, I rail on them every time for doing this, which is just doing color variations on the pin. But this time, I'm fine with it. I'm not going to rail about it because I think it's appropriate with using Three From Hell and Sid Haig having passed. I think it's appropriate that everyone gets a Sid Haig no matter what. So they have three different colors of Sid Haig. One out of 250, one out of 99. But once again, I'm glad that I got the regular one because it looks like him. Um, although, you know, those color schemes look cool. So, yeah. So, that's fine. Everyone should have a Sid Haig because he passed and he was an awesome dude by everyone's account. So, oh, and then, oh, and that was nice. So, the giveaway that they were doing, you could win a Sid Haig signed photo. I hope whoever ended up winning that right there was super super happy about it all right well uh so overall this is fine um the pizza box is a, is a fun idea i like the nightmare on elm street series so i think that's a good autograph personally obviously i really like the pin the art print's pretty good so solid box in my opinion i'm uh, just not a fan of the props usually i'm not so that's kind of a disclaimer it's just one of my biases Although every now and then they have a prop where I'm like, oh, I quite like this. I'm totally down with it. So you never know. But like I said, 
this needs to get 1,000 views at least in order for me to continue on or 100 subscriber, new subscribers from this video or at least three people emailing me for my uh, affiliate link and using it. I will verify that. So anyway, um, thanks everyone for checking this out. And until next time, well, real quick, hit that subscribe. I mean, obviously we need to get to the 100, but uh, if we go past that, great. If we don't get there to 100, that's still fine. Um, the extras, you know, but I'm just saying I may stop doing this if we don't get there. But anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.